Let's make Gustav Klimt style portraits with Nicola. Remember you can pause the video at any time if I'm going too fast for you or you would like to rewatch something. Who was Gustav Klimt? He was an Austrian artist that lived in the late 1800s to the early 1900s. He used a lot of different patterns in the background and on the clothing in his paintings. He liked to work with different types of paint and sometimes even used precious materials in his work like gemstones and gold. Here are two portraits by Klimt. What colours, shapes and patterns can you see? Here's a Klimt inspired portrait that I made earlier. I cut out a face from a magazine and I used a range of different patterns in my background including circles, triangles, squiggles, squares, dots and eye shapes. Think about what patterns you might like to use. You will need paper a pencil, a razor, glue stick and scissors. Pictures of faces from a magazine or newspaper. Then decide on any of the following. Paint. Coloured pencils. Pens. I used a selection of marker pens, gel pens, biros and gold and silver markers. Step 1 Choose a face from a magazine and carefully cut it out. I chose this lady as she had a nice pose in the picture directly looking at the camera. This will make it easier to draw in her clothes later. When you have cut it out you can glue it onto a piece of paper but make sure to place it so that you will still have space to draw in clothes and a background later on. Step 2 Use a pencil to draw in some clothes and a basic background. This doesn't need to be detailed, just a basic outline. We will add our patterns in later. Draw some big shapes in the background. You can use something to draw around if you like. Step 3 Use your pencils, paints or pens to practice some patterns on a scrap piece of paper. I made mine by colouring with a light coloured marker pen first, then drawing patterns over the top with gel pens, biro pens and metallic markers. When you're ready, you can start filling in your main artwork with patterns. Use as much colour as possible and try not to leave any white bits of paper showing in your background.
my finished Klimt inspired artwork. And here it is with the other one that I made earlier. Thank you for watching!